I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Silethi. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.21 from the chapter number 6. The problem is the counter of figure 6.28 has two control inputs. They are the load L and count C and data inputs I, I. This I is for the stage that is for the least significant bit it will be 0 and for the most significant bit it will be 3 because in this counter we have 4 flip flops okay and 4 inputs we have then in the first part of the problem we have to derive the flip flop input equations for j and k for the first stage okay here you have to keep in mind that we have to consider the only the first stage and we have to find out the j and k expressions in terms of l c and i j and k expression we have to find out in terms of L, C and I that is load, count and input. So in the second part of the problem, the logic diagram of the first stage of an integrated circuit 74161 is shown in figure P 6.21. So this is the problem number 6.21. This is the figure. Okay. So we have to verify that this circuit is an equivalent to 1 in A. That means whatever we have got the expressions for J and K we have to show that this j and k expression is similar to the j and k expressions in the first part and so in the first part of the problem we have to consider the first stage of the circuit so this is the first stage of the circuit so here we have i0 input and a0 as output so we have to find out that this j and k expressions so this count is denoted by capital c this load is denoted by capital l and this input is i0 so after this not get this l will be complemented so here we'll have l complement and after the second not get here again we'll have l so at this input of this n get we have one is c capital c and one is l complement so here we'll have l complement c this l complement c is connected to this or get second input so here we have l complement c next here we have this l this L is multiplied through this N gate with I0. So at the output of this N gate, here we'll have L I0. So at the output of this OR gate, we'll have, so this will be the expression for Z. So we can write here, Z is equal to L complement C plus L I0. Okay, so we have got the expression for the input Z. So here we have got the expression for j. Now we have to find out the expression for k. That is, we have to find out the expression at this or get output. So here we have at this input. So the second input is L complement C. And this second first input is the and get output. So one input is L here. And here we have at the second input. This is I0 complement. I0 complement. Okay, so at this and get output, here we'll have L I0 complement. So at this or get output, so we'll have L the C plus L I0 complement. So the expression for K will be K is equal to L the C plus L I0 complement. So we have got the expression for J and K. So these are the input equations. So the first part of the problem is complete because we have got the expression for J and K in terms of L, C and I. Here this i means this i0 because this is the first test. Okay. So here we have got the expression for this j and k inputs. Or we have we can say that these are the input equations of this flip-flop. Now in the second part, we have to consider this circuit. So we have to find out now the expression for j and k. Okay. Then only we can compare with the first part. Okay. So here we have L at this input, and this L is connected to this or get input. So here we have L. Okay, this L is again connected to this NAND gate input. So here we have L. Now let us see this I is input here. Okay, so here we have I. So NAND gate output will be LI whole complement. Okay, because it is a NAND gate. So LI is the N operation and whole complement is the NAND operation. Okay, so this LI whole complement is one input here. So here we have LI whole complement. So here we'll have L into l i whole complement and another complement because we have a NAND gate here okay this l into l i complement this one 
and we have a bubble here so here we have a complement so here we have got this term then we have l is one input here so here we have c input so at this output we'll have at this point we'll have l plus c okay because it is an or gate so at the end at this end gate output here we'll have l whole into l i whole complement another complement into l plus c so this is the expression for z and for k we'll have this one is l plus c and here we have this li whole complement so they will be multiplied so here we'll have li whole complement into l plus c so these are the two expressions that is z is equal to this much and k is equal to this much let me write down at the second part we have got z is equal to l into li complement and complement l whole into li whole complement another complement whole into l plus c okay so we have got this expression for z now if we simplify this what we'll have this is nothing but a into b whole complement so we can write it as a bar plus b bar a b whole bar is equal to a bar plus b bar so we can write it as l dash plus this l i one complement is already there so it will be l i okay whole into l plus c now if we multiply these two terms we'll get l dash into l it will be zero okay so zero plus so l dash into c l complement c plus this again if we multiply this term and this we'll get l i plus if we multiply this term and this so we'll get l i c okay so this one is zero if we want to find out the sum of mean terms expression we have to expand this so here we'll get okay now if we write in terms of sum of mean terms expression so we'll get three comma then this one is one then here, here we have this is seven okay this one is six and this one is seven we have already written here okay so this is the sum of mean terms expression now if we simplify this with k map what we'll get so if we make a three variable map because we have three variables l i and c okay so here we'll have okay now let us put the values so 0 1 1 is there okay so put a 1 here then 2 is not there then 3 4 5 6 7 okay so others are 0 okay so how you can combine so this will be one term and this will be the second term therefore j is equal to so from this term we'll get it is l complement into c plus from this term we'll get this is l into this is i l i okay so we have got the expression for z now let us compare this z with the first part of the problem so this is second part so this is second part of the problem so now let us compare it with first part of the problem so z is l bar c plus l i zero okay so here we have got l bar c plus l i so this is similar to this z of the first part now let us find out for k so k is equal to so here we have got k is li whole complement into l plus c so k is li whole complement into l plus c so this is a b whole bar form so we can write it as l bar plus i bar whole into l plus c now if we multiply these two terms l bar into l it will be 0 plus l bar into c l bar c plus i bar into l so it will be l i bar plus i bar c so if we further simplify these terms we'll get l bar c plus l i bar so now if we compare this k with the first part of the problem l bar c plus l i bar this is l bar c plus l i zero bar so they are similar so the circuit in part p is equivalent to circuit in part a okay of the problem okay so this is the solution of the problem number 6.21 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you